Hi, this is Kevin. Welcome back to the Handheld Computer Museum. Today, I wanted to take a look at some recent ads to the collection. So, you know what? It's unboxing time. Let's do this. Uh, first, we'll start with things that aren't actually in a box. A couple great games. Um, I was super excited about these. Mainly that I had no idea that Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto 2 were made for Game Boy Color. Uh, it cracks me up. So I can't wait to fire these up in a future video and take a look and see what they did with it. I also got a copy of Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Color. So those are super exciting. Can't wait to take a look at them. Package number one. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is a flip cam. So super small uh, handheld essentially digital camcorder. Uh, I don't really have any of these in the collection yet, mostly because I didn't uh, ever own any, uh, personally, so it's something that I think is going to be really fun to take a look at, uh, along with the history of a lot of different handheld computers, just because, you know, it, it's a really niche device that really didn't last very long. Oh, look, it's very cool. It has, a, has an actual tripod mount on the bottom. Awesome. So you'll see this one come up soon. Got another one here. Oops. I know what this one is. Growing up. This is Zune. Look at that color. Oh, crazy. Brown. Who makes brown electronics anymore? Uh, this is going to be hilarious. Well, I can't wait to take a look at the Zune. Um, I've got a couple more Zunes coming, too, because, you know, I didn't, I didn't really use... Um, I had one media player when I was, when I was in... Eh, after college. And Zunes and iPods were not them, so... Really excited to take a look at this, fire it up, and see what happens. This is just a fun lot that I was able to buy. Um, so this is going to be just a few kind of digital organizers, Texas Instruments, great little Casio, man, yeah, great Casio calculator, scientific calculator in that case. These are all just kind of, yeah, personal organizers. So again, this is this is well before we were doing much with PDAs, but people still wanted, you know, digital ways to organize their stuff. And these fit the bill. I mean, it's pretty skinny, to be fair. These are pretty light and skinny, so not not terrible device designs, you know. But look at that screen. That's all you got. It's mostly keyboard. Mostly keyboard. Very little screen. So those will be super fun. Oh, yeah. Full court basketball from Radio Shack. Be really interested to fire this up with our with some triple A, double A batteries, three double A batteries, and see what it's like to play basketball. Shoot and pass. That's a nice button. I like that. Yeah, that, that feels real good. Cool. That'll be great. Really HP iPack. This one's uh, looks like it's coded to singular wireless. Uh, the H, the, I thought the iPacks were always probably. I mean, they kind of came early in the in the full Windows CE days, but um, I think these were these were what I coveted, I suppose. Um, you know, they were certainly full color screens and things like that versus a lot of the Palms and Palm just kind of. Oh, I, I feel like it was a little behind when when it came to color and kind of getting into that. So these these guys were eh, fairly ahead of their time. Cool design. All right. yeah. It's a Game Gear, but it's the blue one. Look at that color. <laughs> oh man. Why on earth did they go with this color? I don't know, but I really like it. So that's the new. Oh, such a nice feel. I mean, they're they're big, but they feel really great. I mean, it's substantial. It's it's like holding you know a boombox from the '80s versus holding, well, an iPod. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be super fun to play with. I think the screen on this one's damaged. I have another Game Gear, so we'll just kind of see which one. You know, if I want to swap some parts and and combine them, um, just because this blue one is, yeah, that's gorgeous.
media players. <laughs> so just a pile of them. Um, I don't know, I probably won't go into for too many lots when it comes to, you know, adding to the collection, but um, like I said, I didn't personally have very many MP3 players, um, and so I think it'll just be kind of, you know, interesting to take a look at a lot of different, a lot of different kinds. Um, whether I get ones that work or not, you know, that's a whole different thing. Oh, that's a shuffle, so that's a later, later shuffle. Super cute. That's a... It's a different brand, Kobe. Well, wow. yeah, might be basically just garbage, but that's a good. That's an iPod Mini. I think that's a Mini. I don't think the Nanos are that shape. There's the, uh, the iPod Nano that kind of preceded the Apple Watch. That would be really cool if that one worked. Um, ooh, this one's got a fancy case. Yeah, nice. Another iPod Nano. So one of the things is I'll just kind of be going through, checking to see if everything works. iPod. Are these minis or nanos? Don't really remember this size. I don't know, that one feels kind of, feels a little light. Kind of feels, doesn't feel like an iPod, so I don't know if it's a knockoff or what. This one definitely. Little nano, that screen is, that screen is toast. Might not be much to do with that. That's okay. Interesting. I didn't know this was in the lot. A voice recorder, digital voice recorder, but you know, honestly, on help computers, I never really thought about digital voice recorders. I wonder, kind of, wonder what kind of media this one takes. Um, yeah, microphone, earphones. I don't see a spot for a media card. That's really weird. So maybe it just has internal memory? Or maybe it doesn't... Oh wow, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing it just doesn't do anything. That's really weird. Oh, sorry, it doesn't do anything when it comes to media cards. I don't even see, I don't even see a USB on this thing, so I'm guessing you play it on there, record it on there, and play it on there. Wow, there's a few of these things. That's really funny. Yeah, didn't really know this was in the lot at all. But really, I mean, it's a valid part of the computer computing history. Oh, batteries in there. Oh, they're not corroded, so that's good. I do not want corrosion. Corrosion bad. Ooh, what's this? It's a nice, nice little slippy case. Hmm. Another Kobe. Kind of a good design though. Super clean. I like that. Cleaner than this other one. Super tiny little sand disc. Sansa. Yeah, never had any Sansas, that's for sure. Micro SD card slot. Don't know if they can't tell if there's a card in there. Yeah, there is a card in there. Uh, 16 gig. Interesting. So that'll be kind of fun to see what's on there. Um, but it's really dirty, but we might be able to clean that up too. That might be kind of a fun project. This is a bit on the iPod shuffle side, but obviously it's got a screen. I wonder if that's an OLED screen. It's small enough that it might be a little remote control for iPod. And another Kobe. Gonna have to look up that Kobe brand. I'm guessing it's pretty cheap because these are this is really light. <laughs> There's not much going on there. Yeah, so some of those are pretty cool. That should be a fun fun pile to sift through and see see what's working, see what's not. Okay. Cool. Last box. little professor yeah that's that's fantastic 9 volt you'll see all those in upcoming photos check out our Instagram Twitter uh, and obviously stick around here on YouTube please like and subscribe to this channel because that's gonna really help us out as we're getting started take care bye